does glow-in-the-dark vinyl sound bad? In this episode of Vinyl Anatomy, I'm going to examine that for you. I'm Jojo, a designer and an audiophile. Welcome to my channel. Before we do this, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. It helps the channel greatly. Glow-in-the-dark vinyls got a bad reputation among collectors because of the inferior sound quality. From a recent article on Discogs, it stated that color vinyl has come a long way to a point that its sound is on par with normal black vinyl. But glow-in-the-dark vinyl and picture disc is still not so good. The picture disc is because of the structure and the glow-in-the-dark is due to the ingredient they added to make it glow. A recent example of this is this. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? From Billie Eilish. The Target exclusive version is a glow in the dark. I bought it because I think it is a perfect match for the album name and concept. And I was also wondering about the rumor of bad sound quality you get on glow in the dark vinyl. To compare, I went out to another place to buy the exclusive color version, where some people will just want to smack my head into the wall for buying vinyl from there. And that play is Urban Outfitters. The question of this vinyl from big box store like Target Walmart and UO sound bad is a whole other video that I don't want to get into right now, but I will. So, you know what to do. Please. And today, that's focusing on the glow in the dark thing. With my AT120 USB, I can plug it in and record the vinyl to compare. I recorded track 3, Danny, on both versions. All the settings and the monitor headphones are the same. The only difference is the vinyl itself. I picked this song is because it has both delicate parts and loud parts. You can clearly hear the differences between these two versions of the album. Now, take a listen. What is it about them? What is it about them? Inside the second smoke inside so, what do you think? From what I hear, it is clear that Glow in the Dark version has some nasty background noises compared to the Copper Color one. And that background noise is consistent throughout the whole album. On the headphone, it sounds harsh, especially between songs and at some quiet parts, the noise will get loud. On the speaker system, because of the distance between you and the speakers, it translates into a slightly muffled album. You probably won't hear the aggressive noise like on the headphones, but the excessive background noise will eat up the trebles and details by canceling it out. Besides that, the record plays smoothly without problems, not warping or anything else. If you're not listening on headphones or using a highly revealing stereo system or doing comparisons like me, you might be fine with it. But if you dig deeper, there is no way you won't hear the differences. So does the glow in the dark vinyl sounds bad? The answer is yes for this one. However, the result will differ from albums to albums. It's just that I would not bet on glow in the dark vinyl for its sound quality anytime soon. If you have questions or feedback, leave them in the comments. And that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Take care and peace. Bye.